Specs Incognito, Volume 4, read by Rad Zero. It was a time when countless exotic curios and items would flow into Liyue Harbor. This night, Mingui, mistress of Zingri Antiquities, was researching relics and narrating ancient stories of an unnamed son of nobility. The focal point of their debate was a jade plaque. As many knew, creating a counterfeit jade item was not a matter that cost much capital in Liyue. Creating a beautiful fake might be a shade more expensive, but it was a cost that most merchant houses could absorb. The real trick lay in weaving an intricate but spurious tale. Like the jadesmith wandering deep into the mountains, or the youth of the fisher folk whose habits are strange, those considered deviant often in fact strike closer to the heart of things. Rex Lapis laid down rules and contracts, but never forced them by his authority to live by them as a perfect template, for he knew that laws and stipulations were means, not the end. The timeless balance lay, in truth, in a person's awareness and their ability to make choices for themselves. The harsh boss of the fishing vessel did not understand this principle, and so earned the fear and mockery of his hired help. As humans, so too are antiques. Artistry, quality, rarity, and perfection are limiting factors, yes. But the worth of a relic lies in its backstory. The picky young noble seemed not to wholly perceive this idea, and so had no qualms about calling the jade plug fake, denigrating its value. But if all of Zigyu's antique treasures were to be scrutinised with such a piercing and empirical eye, their worth would have been ground into dust. Like the tears of a maiden for her captain, which became eternal pearls, or a mortal king who himself carved the portrait of his deceased queen before sealing his own soul into it. These stories, these legends that should have faded with time were preserved and thus teemed with life under the outer husk of those relics. A fine story, I'll take this fake then. The noble son nodded, his golden eyes smiling. After all that, you still think this is a fake? Mingui sighed lightly. Of course, the young noble could not help but smile, and indeed had never seemed happier since entering her shop. After all, the story you told about Jade Plark's being ancient currency, it's nonsense. Nonsense that I made up.